Are patents and trademarks not used in the state of New York? <laughs> it was not the 49ers. Hello, St. Francis of Toledo playing Perrysburg. You saw Mike Blakowski on the sidelines. Scott Nisley with some health issues. He's up in the box. Here we go, first quarter. Third and six, Spencer Backus finds Noah Lentz. They can't convert the point after 6-0. Knights would answer, though. Lonnie Wise, Jr., we talked That's about nice. him earlier. Score, St. Francis fake. takes a 7-6 lead at the glass bowl. Bit of a surprise. Second quarter, Jackets right back at it. Backus to Lentz. This combination working out well. Perrysburg up 21-7. But again, St. Francis not giving up. Wise, you saw him run it. How about the lefty sling it? Grant Kolkowski, touchdown, only a seven-point game at half. Third quarter, Tim Selhorst puts the Jackets up 14 with a touchdown run. Wise, can he answer again? Again. Picked off by Lentz. Jackets win this one. 34-14, BCSN's Mark Coots was there and has more from the glass bowl. Coaches always talk about turnovers, and in the first half, two Perrysburg turnovers led to St. Francis's 14 points. In the second half, there's a couple of Knights miscues that helped the Yellow Jackets put this game away. Yeah, anytime in a uh, playing against a good opponent, you can't turn the ball over. And, and I mean, we're moving the ball and then through a couple interceptions, those are things we'll work out. We still have a young team. I like the way they came back and fought when they were on the ropes a little bit. Surprised how tough <clears throat> they played you guys? Honestly, yes. Because <laughs> every, like, everyone on the team thought they were going to be like not as good as they were that we thought they were because they lost the first game. So we all thought it was going to be easy, but we all shouldn't have done that because we got smacked in the mouth the first half and then we came out and started doing better in the second. Noah's an unbelievable player. Anytime he comes up with something, we're amazed, and it's phenomenal. He's just the best player we've got. He's the guy who was the leader second half. He made it go, made timely throws, kept the thing moving, and then you know ran it hard and got in the end zone. Next week, Perrysburg will go for their 30th straight regular season victory with their home opener, taking on the Whitmer Panthers, who are now 1-1 one one on the season. Meanwhile, St. Francis, they'll be back at home to take on Mansfield-Madison.